Hi, uh, in this video we'll see how to make a IR sensor. Uh, this sensor can be used in uh, many uh, basic robotic applications like uh, line following robo, obstacle avoidance robo and uh, obstacle detection robots. Uh, this uh, IR sensor basically consists of uh, two main components that is uh, IR emitter and IR receiver and uh, LM358 uh, uh, LED uh, you can use a LED uh, this will be act as uh, uh, output device which will uh, give indication uh, if we get an output and we are using a 10k potentiometer and a 10k resistor that is uh, to be uh, paired with uh, IR receiver <coughs> and a 1k uh, resistor that has to be paired with the IR emitter <coughs> and a 5 volt battery for a power supply so this is how uh, you have to connect with the circuit and uh, make sure that you are connecting uh, IR receiver in the reverse bias that is the minus end of the IR receiver has to be connected to the um, inverting pin of the LM358 and the pass through terminal of the IR receiver has to be connected to the ground So here I have connected uh, the circuit, uh, same as in this uh, circuit diagram. So here you can see that the output that I have connected uh, to the LED and uh, the second pin that is uh, inverting pin has to be connected to the IR receiver and the third pin uh, which is a non-inverting pin that has connected to the 10K variable resistor here you can see that the variable resistor and the fourth pin which is a ground that I have connected to the ground so if it is finds any obstacles like um, placing my finger at the top of the sensor without touching it so you can see that the LED turns on so it detects uh, presence of an object you can see here so this uh, is a very simple uh, sensor which we can use in many uh, robotic related applications so one of the main examples uh, is for a line follower robot so if you want the logic to be uh, uh, vice versa like uh, it uh, the output should be uh, high uh, when you place a if the sensor finds any obstacle it has to go low uh, all you have to do is just interchange the just interchange the uh, potential uh, potential meter output to the second pin and the sensor output the third pin I'm going to interchange this so I'm going to take the uh, potential meter output to the second pin and the sensor output to the third pin I'm connecting the battery now so if you see that the output is always high so if I if it is finds any obstacle the output goes low So this is a very simple sensor if you are not getting any output just make sure to vary the resistance so that we can get any output see here there is no output so if you are not getting any output uh, like this so you have to vary the resistance now it getting the output so if I place uh, any obstacles in the sensor the output goes low so <coughs> if the problem uh, comes in this sensor that you are not getting any output uh, first you have to check the L, uh, variable potentiometer that is a variable resistor uh, <coughs> and uh, make sure that 
<coughs> the IR receiver is in the reverse polarity if you are not getting any output thank you for watching